This is the sixth movie in our series, and in this movie we are going to count the number of lesions for a scanned image. The next data we will be collecting is the number of lesions on the leaf. We will begin by using the tomato leaf scan, which was our example for setting scale for scanned images. The tomato leaf has bacterial leaf spot displayed as small dots on the back of the leaf. Begin by selecting the rectangle tool on the image graphical user interface. Select the smallest rectangle possible around the leaf. Go to image, crop. And then go to image, adjust, color threshold. Select the leaf spots. A hue between 0 and 47 saturation between 0 and 255, and then brightness between 0 and 147 should work in this case. Here. Go ahead and click Select. Alright, now go to um, Process, Binary, Make Binary to convert the color image to a binary image. Uh, notice that there's a leaf outline. Um, one helpful trick when removing pixels from a binary image is to pull up the original image just so you can compare and contrast. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then magnify, you can do that by Command Shift Plus. Um, so you can take a look at the image, see what it is we're looking at here. All right, now you want to select the paintbrush tool. Um, you don't really care about the leaf spots that are on the edge of the leaf, so we're just going to um, go ahead and erase. Okay, so we got rid of the outline, but there's also a lot of little spots that don't really look like they're um, leaf spot inside here, so we're also going to get rid of some of the noise. Uh, this, so then that first step gets rid of the large pixel clusters. Now we're getting rid of the small pixel clusters. Um, in this case, let's see, we're looking at um, radius of 5 isn't super great. It gets rid of some spots that are leaf spots. What about radius of 1? Um, that is a little bit better. We're just getting rid of um, little spots that do not appear to have any relevance we're going to go ahead and click OK for that. And then next we want to go to Analyze and then Analyze Particles. Um, there's a lot of different options in this window that are relevant. Um, the default for size is particle sizes of 0 to infinity. This will select um, particles by size, all of the particles by size. Um, and then it doesn't matter if it's pixel units or not in this case um, because we're counting the number of particles. Um, uh, and then as far as circularity goes, zero is something that's completely not a circle and then one is a perfect circle. Um, we like to have visual data so I'm going to go ahead and um, click on um, outlines for what to show. This is going to make an image that has the outlines of um, the dots. Um, we do want to display the results of the analysis. Um, we do want the summary of the analysis. Um, we do want to clear previous results and so all those are checked. Um, we want to exclude any dots that are on the edges like if the image had dots on the edges we would get rid of that. Um, we want to include holes. That means that if there was say like a circle and then another circle inside of that it would count that as just one. That's what we want here. So um, that's good. And the other stuff, we want to leave it unchecked. So go ahead and click OK. So there we go. Um, this is the processed image, even further processed. Um, all these little red dots, if you scroll in, those are the numbers. So that's uh, what those are. Uh, the summary gives the total number of particles. Um, we can go ahead and record that. Uh, we'll say scan um, spots.
total count, 0, 1, 0, 5. Um, and then the results gives the area of each individual spot. Uh, so now if we want, we can um, save a copy of the different various different images. So go ahead and file save as TIFF. Still want scan a tomato for this. Dash drawing. Go ahead and save that. File save as TIFF. Um, scan. There we go. Well, that concludes movie six. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like our video and subscribe to our channel and hopefully we'll have another movie for you soon.